Step one sets the properties of the VT workbook using the normal VT commands. In your VT toolbar, there will be an icon for workbook properties, the position of which will vary depending on the type of Excel installation you have. Double click on the icon and it brings up the VT workbook properties. You should never alter the setting for generic accountants report. You should never alter the setting for company has more than one shareholder or company has more than one director. You should never alter the setting for company is trading. For FRS 102 templates, you should never untick the box for cash flow statements. This is because for FRS 102 templates, the cash flow statement is compulsory. By default, for FRS SE FRESI templates, this box is not ticked because the cash flow statement is optional for FRESI accounts. However, if you wish to include a cash flow statement, you should tick this box for FRESI accounts. You should never untick this box to display comparative columns unless you have no comparative figures to disclose. You should never untick the contents page box and always leave it ticked. You should enter the charity name in the company name box and if the charity is a company you should enter the company number in the registered number box. You should then enter the accounting periods in the current period and the comparative period boxes. Once you are happy that your template settings are correct then you should press OK to enter, exit the workbook properties. That completes step one and you should go to the end of step one and enter Y in the dialog box to indicate you have completed the step. That is the end of the step.